Hello, hello, and welcome back to Mulverite Survival, Chapter 18, I-85. So now we're just moving on to Stage 7. So that's right, Stage 7, this is the second last stage, so it's probably going to start to get a bit harder right now. So what have we got, some fast and strongs? Okay, so let's just take in the team we've been taking in and see how we go. Uh, like I said at the beginning, so we're taking on some fast and Toughs, not strongs. Um, so we've got some toughs and fast. So then I've then got some strongs and fast to counteract them to peaks. So we're going all right at the moment. We've got um, still a couple of healers in there with Doc Stevens and Glenn. And then we've also got the Michonne that downs their attack. And Maggie that gives us extra defense. And Joshua's our only one big hitter. And then we've got Abe that's helping him with the plus 30% attack and defense for melees, which all of my characters are melee, so we're really using that ally skill there to enhance our players. And also you got Joshua that's the plus 20% defense and attack for melees as well. So you got plus 50% if you add both his and Abraham's together, helping all them characters out. And then we've also took into the account the traits and brought in the right sort of traits. So we should go all right here. It's just a matter of hitting them and making sure you survive to the end, right? Outlast, outlast, let's outlast. Yep, so we just got one of their attacks, so they're not doing too much damage. Just not using the hair brushes at the moment, just trying to keep them for the next wave. I always find if you can defeat the current wave, like you only got one or two, three plays left and a few big kids left, not to use the rushes, so you can just use them all on the next wave and kill heaps of them at once. So there you go, you use that, then you down the attack straight away, you up your defense, you hit them with the big hitter, and you got lit and you hit your healer and you set up pretty strong for this round. And hopefully you should be able to kill them all without using any battle items and too much more of your rushes. And as you can see it's going pretty good, so I'll just keep doing the same thing, letting my rush build up and then use it at the beginning of every way and just taking their hits and defeating them just by hitting them rather than using my rushes on them which I, th I think is a pretty good strategy if you're down in there, if I'm down in their attack straight away with Michonne and then up on my defence it sets me up for the next wave straight away so I'll just keep doing that and it's working and then only use my healers when I need them um, because I do have the two, they will go off at different times, which is good. And Glenn also gets rid of them, any minors, attacks, defense, etc, bleeding, which is good because um, I think there's a, there's a few plays in this round that um, do that, they down your attack. There you go, you just saw it then. That down your attack and also your defense, so that's why you want Glenn there because he gets rid of that and then... I can just do it to them and not watch them get rid of it. Yep, so we're just continuing on. Like I said, um, if you struggle with this level, all I can say is if you keep do all the right things, set up your players right, your weapons, and you're using the right strategy like I am here and you're just not winning it, like it's just you're not getting past the first three ways or you're getting smashed in the first way or the second way, you probably need to upgrade your players. Because um, I remember when I was stuck on Jeremiah's Revenge level for ages and ages, I'm talking, and it just it just took the upgrading of a few characters, and I'm finally easy, and I pass through the next few stages really easy. So if you do start to struggle at any point during a stage, and you're using, you're watching videos, you're getting advice off your teammates, etc., and you're changing up your team to different things, and nothing is working. You bring in your strongest team, then you bring in the right trait team, 
and it's not working, definitely just try and take the time to upgrade your players. In the meantime, just, just upgrade your players and then come back to it. Because I know how frustrating it can be when you're just throwing everything at a level and not getting past it. So that's my number one key, just take time off it, upgrade your players and then come back to it and usually you will beat it with a few simple changes, a few upgraded players, you know, fresh eyes on it without frustration, you will usually beat it. So now we're down to the last person here and we've done it fairly easy. Um, took a few hits but nothing too much to worry about and there we are. Done, 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 done. Done.